Right, guys, I'm quite honest in my reviews. I'm going to take a look at... Not quite honest. I am honest. <laughs> I give the reviews that people should give, in my opinion. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at On One Photo Raw Max today. Now, this, you can buy it as a standalone version. You can get it as a 30-day trial. Have a look yourself. And um, let's see what we can do with this product. Okay, so we've got... The ultimate photo editing software application now it is a good alternative to lightroom i do give it that once you've had a play with it you know you, you can do some amazing things but one of the things i want to look at is its ability to do the ai portrait side of things all these features go and have a look yourself i'm just going to concentrate on the portrait editing you know the ai things it supposedly can do and are they any good from the last time i tried it let's see okay so again like you know they're chucking a lot in for the price it is a standalone product like i said you can use this without anything else if you want to would i recommend it for professionals probably not i don't know um but like i said we're just going to deal with the portrait side of things in this video because um let's have a just no we're just going to go into development first of all and just have a quick look at how it does we've got the let's just crop it in as well i want to go to about there we just want a little bit of a turn on it there let's go with that okay we're happy so we've got the crop it's the standard image i use for doing the portrait editing tests this girl she's got you know like quite a few blemishes and these sort of things here that would need fixing um we've got you know the standard things that you've got in photoshop or lightroom here all good this is good you know if you just want a product that can do all your images get them cold and then edited quickly <coughs> without having a subscription like you know photoshop and that's gone up in price it's a contender but the portrait side of things i'm gonna be honest i've got not a lot of hope for this and then we will see what it can do okay so we've got auto on can't really see anything so what's it doing Auto's off. Right, okay, so retouching. So we're going to turn this all the way up. And then let's go to the blemish one first of all. And I can see straight away it's going to start killing the image. So look, the, you know, blemishes. This isn't a blemish. The eyes aren't blemishes, but it just seems to be taking, <laughs> taking the makeup up. I don't know why it's doing this anyway the shine uh, the shine one works okay texture we've got the texture at 100 percent let's get that back up the main thing we want to be sorting out is this and it's not doing anything to it brightness of the face just brightens up the face again it's not that good slim the face come on is it oh it's just no doesn't work left eye size yeah well that's going to work okay brightness of the eyes now this was an issue with one of the older versions let me try this it's doing it again on this one so if you look here it's not brightening yet it's just bright it's like they're putting a white patch over here this area and it just does the whole thing you can see it on the nose and everything doesn't work right whitening of the eye works to a point but if you had the ability to adjust where the eyes were and blah 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 it may work a little bit better but it's just guessing details we don't want to look we'll look at that one dark circles it's worked to a point so i just vibrance of the lips so the lip vibrance look it's catching here here the top bit of the lip we're just not getting any movement as you can see so doesn't work right lip brightness 
Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. And the hue. So it's a it's an added bonus. You know, they've chucked it in. It doesn't really do anything. So I wouldn't recommend anybody using this portrait side of stuff. But again, on this side, we've got a lot of presets in here. You know, let's try one. Light and airy. Let's go for that one. Uh, you know, some of these presets, they might work. Interesting. But again, you know, as a Lightroom replacement that you only pay once for, it's a definite win for the price. It is, you know. You're going to save... Let's try these pastel ones. Oh, no. Um, you're going you're gonna to save you some money in the long run. So, for that side of things, I'd give it a win. For the portrait editing... I would steer clear if you think it's going to work for that. It definitely isn't, in my opinion. Anyway, just a quick review. Don't forget, like, subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.